Welcome to the future of automation, from chatbots to artificial intelligence. My name is Andrew Mayer. I'm an evangelist with Avaya, focusing on their customer engagement solutions. I think most of us can agree messaging is pretty much ubiquitous. We're using some form or another everywhere. Most of us are probably also doing it on a mobile device. Recent studies are showing that 68% of our digital time is spent in a mobile device. Just think about that. We've well surpassed the halfway point where, for most of us, 10 years ago, all of our time was spent on a PC. Now, over 60, almost 70% of that time is spent on a mobile device. So what does that mean? Mobile devices have brought us apps, and lots of them. Every app is really useful, but every app has its own design. It has its own language. Each a user has to figure out how to navigate an app every time they download a new one. Whether it's hotels, banking, or airlines, they all have their purpose, but they all have their own language. What has this led to? Now, whether it's on the iOS or the Google Play Store, there's more than two million apps in each of those stores, meaning two million languages users would have to learn to use all those applications. So what does that mean when we look at messaging and chatting? What is the opportunity in chatting? Well, we've talked about social networks and the use and the growth of social networks for many years now. But just look at the numbers and how they've grown over the last four years in the use of messaging. It surpassed the number of those that are working in social networks here and growing ever still. Sachin Nadella, Nadella of Microsoft just recently uh, held a conference and talked about chat being maybe the new interface, the new user interface that will be just as important to commuting, computing as the graphical user interface was. Just imagine a new way of interacting with computers by just talking to it or writing into it. So what makes chat and messaging so, so easy, so ubiquitous, so, so interesting for people to use? Well. When I started looking into this, I didn't even realize it myself there, but there are just three basic rules. Everything I write is on the right side of the screen, everything others write is on the left, and text is entered at the bottom. Almost every messaging application follows these rules. Messaging, many of our customers are using already in different ways around the world, whether it's web chat on a web page, or maybe things in like Facebook or Twitter where they're messaging and opening up private messages to customers. So messaging is not really new, but what happens and why might you need a chatbot? Well, we see four different areas where chatbots can play a really important role. They can offer automated support to your customers. Customers can reach out to you and automatically get answers back without having to have a live person or direct interaction with your business. Perhaps in some more complex scenarios there, we might have an assisted scenario, so a co-piloting where part of the conversation is held by a machine and the other is helped by a live agent. The third, it's really a very uh, understandable one, is form filling. Processes that a user or a customer might need to walk through in order to get to the end of a process, these could easily be handled by a chatbot. And one that where I see a lot of potential coming into is notification via messaging, meaning sending out specific messages, customized messages to your customers there on messaging platforms. Here is a simplest scenario. A water boiler has broken. The person, the woman, goes online. She uses her phone. Maybe she uses an application like Line. She's talking to the company that produces the boiler there. Maybe a chatbot is driving the conversation along the way, asking questions, giving her responses there, and perhaps it could even solve her problem automatically. Or if necessary, and she needs to get more assistance here, the entire conversation is then forwarded to a live agent. Here's an example from the German Lufthansa, which just released their uh, newest chatbot just a few weeks ago. The name is Mildred, and Mildred is all about finding the lowest priced flight uh, for those on the Lufthansa. So of course I went into Mildred to give it a try out, and I asked for flights coming out here to Dubai from Frankfurt in December. And very quickly I got an answer back of a very attractive price of just over 400 euros. If I press on the book now option offered here, it brings up the mobile web form and I can fill out the rest of my details and purchase the flight. But I wasn't quite satisfied just yet. I asked, of course, can I book a seat with this while still in the same conversation? 
she wasn't really quite able to understand that. I even asked if she could help me order a special meal, and again, she didn't quite understand it. So all I wanted to find out is, is it possible to get out of this chatbot and talk to a live person? I even asked that question specifically, and as you can see, I was stuck in the chatbot. So chatbots are really not all alike, and there's a lot of them out there. Most all of these chatbots will have some sort of conversation. You'll be able to say questions, say your points in natural language here. You don't have to follow specific rules here. And you'll get very often very natural type of responses coming back. Some of the chatbots will have more advanced scripting functionality here to help drive you down a certain phase of a conversation here. Fewer chatbots will bring in external insights into the conversation. Mildred should have asked me for my Lufthansa frequent flyer number while in the conversation there, but she didn't, meaning she wasn't able to go find out more about me and help me drive the right way through the conversation of her chatbot. And almost none of the chatbots are offering what we call a warm handoff, seamless, from a bot to a live agent. And we see this as being very critical to a successful chatbot experience. So some examples of why you might use a chatbot. Tell me you're not saying this in your own business here. You want to deflect inbound phone calls. So here's an example a customer came up and asked us if we could do. Customers are calling into their business, entering their IVRs, identifying themselves, and in the queue, certain queue situations, they would like to offer the customer the, an option to, wouldn't you rather chat with us now? And if the customer opts in for that, they send the link out to the person's device or, or PC, and then the conversation continues in a web chat or some messaging application, just to defer or deflect the inbound calls. Who would have thought of this just five years ago? How about taking repetitive tasks away from some of your agents? Here's a scenario here of a customer opening up an airline app, and he just asks the question, are your flights on time? Using natural language, the system is able to identify what the customer, the passenger here, is trying to do and knows First, I need to know where and from you're flying from and to, and then which flight might you be on that day. The customer responds, and it can give all the information back just by using real text in the application. Now, whether this is an app, as we just described, or an airline app here, or this is Twitter, Twitter, Twitter direct messaging, or even SMS services, we're completely open to what types of services as long as we can interact with that interface. Conversational exchanges. So take this example of Mark opening up his banking application. The banking application greets him, and think of the, of the situation of what you need to do today if you open up your banking app and you want to transfer money. What would it be like if you could just do this? Mark just types in, transfer 25 euros to my wife, Melinda. The bot recognizes Mark because he's authenticated with the application. He's perhaps signed up to allow certain types of quick transfers to certain people uh, that he's pre-approved here. It just asks him from which account this money might want to come from, and it's done. What do you think about banking if you could do it like this? Seamless agent integration. As we see in our world, having agents and contact centers is very, very important, particularly in certain scenarios here. Here, Marcel is opening up his application that he likes to use, Facebook Messenger. In this case, he's got a par parcel being delivered to his house, but he'd like to have the delivery sent to his neighbor and not to his house. The bot recognizes what he's trying to do here and asks him for a piece of identification, in this case, a tracking ID. He provides the information. That is then used to look up who he is and recognizes this is Marcel and also recognizes he's never used this service before. And because this is Facebook Messenger, and he's not really authenticated, of course, they need to connect him to a live agent to complete all this. He opts in for that, and this entire conversation is transferred to a live agent, Melanie, who then can provide the rest of the services. What would it look like on the agent side here? The entire conversation would be sent over to Melanie so she can pre-review what it is before she responds to Marcel to help him on his way bringing in external insights into the conversation. Chatbot are going to be running in the, in the cloud. These are going to be cloud services. And these are some of the components that you're going to want to have no matter what chatbot you're going to employ. You're going to have some sort of form of self-service going around there, or even assisted service. 
self-service meaning everything done in the, in the chatbot, everything from end to end. Depending on your type of business, that might be pretty hard to do from the beginning. Assisted services where collecting certain entities of information, certain prompted uh, identifiers, that then can be prepared to hand it over to an agent, that seamless agent. So that seamless agent piece is something you really need to keep in mind when you're going out and checking out chatbot suppliers. Some of the most important pieces that often are forgotten about are monitoring those chat conversations. What's happening in those conversations here? Are they in compliance with your business? And in compliance in itself is in certain industries, you need to keep records of all of these conversations. Is that being done in accordance to your agreements? Of course, all of these chatbots need to then interface to whatever's relevant for your business and what part of the world you're in. There's lots of different applications that are out there. Some are very regional and some are pretty much all over. Of course, then don't ignore the information you already have about your customers. All those pieces, all those marketing data here, their CRM tools here, the knowledge bases that need to be able to be integrated into these processes here. You perhaps even have a contact center that's ready to interact with text-based communications. Maybe you're doing it via web chat here today. So how do you bring all this together? This is where Avaya Breeze comes and plays a role. No matter what your Avaya contact center platform might be, Think about augmenting that with the via Breeze, which brings you then the capabilities of being able to store information on the fly with our context store, processing that based on your business rules here using our workflow engine here, routing the work to the right specific agent, perhaps the same agent on the phone who was just text chatting with a customer using work assignment, and our completely open web services interfaces here allow you to even tie in other services into your business here, or even external to your business, whenever necessary. This altogether can provide for a truly seamless automated or semi-automated chatbot experience for your customers. But let's keep in mind that chatting is just one piece of the puzzle. These chat applications or these messaging applications provide many more features that customers and people are using today. Location, pictures, videos perhaps, or even audio lines here are often enabled in many of these applications. So what would it be like if you were chatting within your, to your bank here within an application here, but now you want to speak to somebody? Today, typically that means leaving the chat application and then picking up the phone and dialing your bank and navigating through the menus to try to then get to a person who can help you. What would it be like if you could just click a button and directly from the application, from that chat experience here, go to a live agent? This brings then the opportunity of having a truly personal banking experience. All of these act interactions remain in the app. The customer never has to go somewhere else to look and see what conversation they had with their company. Perhaps another example, again, a banking one. A notification information, piece of information was shown within the app to a customer here. Notifications, we get these all the time, particularly from our banks and other places. Often, they might be an SMS. In other cases, they might be an email. We all know the chances of what it's like to get an email like that when typically it's being sent from do not reply at mybank.com. Messaging allows you to push notifications to the customer, and when using the messaging interface, always have the option for the customer to respond back to you in context back to your bank here. They can write back if they want and in the time when they want. You can then have your chatbot listen to that response here and decide, is there any more further action necessary or not? So introducing Project Slate. This is a, a, an attempt by Avaya to look at how we could employ chatbots within the customer service scenarios. So what does service, our Project Slate offer here? Well, it's offering a very high level of sophistication with continuous handling of transactions. It has no time out. It has no breaks. It's always sitting there listening 24-7. We look at multi-turn dialogues as being one of the key, initial keys you'll be looking for in gaining business use from chatbots. Multi-turns meaning those first few interactions of who are you, what are you looking for, and maybe I can help you a little bit further. Save your, we'll save your agents time when those chats are then perhaps sent forward to live agents. We can, of course, work on multiple channels, being live chat, messaging, even SMS. Deployments can be very simple for a customer with very little configuration. And of course, with Avaya Breeze, we can integrate with many of the platforms that you're using within your business, whether it's CRM tools, Salesforce, Oracle, and SAP. 
how does Slate get its smarts? From day one, it's doing contact analytics. For those of you who might be working in multilingual companies uh, or where industries where you're working with multiple languages here, language ID is very important for chat. Just getting that ID uh, right and sending one language chat to a certain queue of agents here versus another set of languages to another agent can be very valuable here. The machine learning automation with an increase in transactions, the machines learn how to respond to your customers here. Even chats which have been forwarded through to an agent are still being listened to by Slate all the time and learning from those interactions. And over time, the number of interactions and the insights we can gain from those interactions can be increasingly complex here. Things that you might not even know within your own business that are happening here, but people are writing to you about here on chat. We can be able to signal uh, actions that might be important for you to take in your business here. So Project Slate also running in the uh, Amazon Web Services here. It's one AI engine that you need for all your channels. If you go look at Facebook Messenger web uh, bots here today, the chat bots, you'll find hundreds of customer service chat bots on Facebook Messenger here, but they only work on Facebook Messenger. If you want to offer something similar on Twitter or with your own app or web chat, you'll have to build a new engine there. Project Slate lets you attach one engine to all of these platforms that you might be looking at. We support today over 30 languages. It's a completely self-learning system here. Some training can be applied if necessary. It offers the autopilot and copilot modes from the, from the beginning. And we interact with all of the Avaya contact center platforms. Avaya Breeze makes this all particularly intelligent. So using the Avaya Breeze and chatbots here, and along with our newest Avaya Oceana, we see us orchestrating these experiences with your customers across your entire business and enabling that truly next generation customer engagement. Thank you.